a group called Catholic has dragged President Muhammad Buhari to African Union over Nigeria's insecurity. A group Catholic rights organization Citizens Go has dragged President Muhammad Buhari to the African Union AU over Nigerians' heightened insecurity issues. In a statement issued on Tuesday, the religious body said it asked the AU to penalize President Buhari for the seeming laxity of his government in addressing the situation. The statement by Citizen Go campaign director in Africa and Kyoko said the petition against Buhari by the Catholics was addressed to the AU chairman uh, chairperson, which is the African uh, Union. Well, President Felix Tshisekedi of the Democratic Republic of Congo (DRC). Some of the sanctions sought against Buhari by the Catholics include, but not limited to, disallowing him to speak in any AU events, withdrawing Nigeria's trade agreements, and all benefits that come with the AU. Well, it says some of the sanctions sought against Buhari by the Catholics include, but not limited to disallowing him to speak in any AU event. Well, she said the Christian uh, persecution in Nigeria has been going on for a while and we have done a number of petitions to the government of Nigeria, delivered them even to the office of the president physically in Abuja, but nothing has been done. It does not last a week without reports of children being kidnapped while priests, pastors, fathers, and mothers are either killed or held captive in forests manned by bandits. As a result, Christians in Nigeria are living in fear, not sure of their safety in their own country. People are dying because of proclaiming Jesus and the government does not want to protect them, especially in the northern part of the country, Nigeria. We try to petition the ECOWAS, which is the Economic Community of West African States, uh, court, uh, the ECOWAS Court on this issue. They try to petition ECOWAS Court on this issue, but nothing has been done. We have also followed the reaction of the government on the ongoing kidnappings, the killings of pastors, priests, and all, etc., uh, etc., et the government seems to be complacent. Now we have to escalate and get the African Union. We are pushing for tough penalties because nothing is tougher than people being killed, people losing lives just because they proclaim God. Well, that is true. Uh, apart from you know people dying because they proclaim God or they are serving their own God and calling on Jesus, everybody has a right to whatever he wants to serve. Uh, according to the uh, Christendom or the Islam, those that said they want to Islamize the country just because they are Muslims, because the Christians to them are infidel. Uh, the people who gave us religion, who brought religions to us, you understand, have not even carried that religion on their head. Let me put it that way. But in Nigeria, President Muhammadu Buhari and his cohort believe because they are Muslims, they now, you know, uh, carried religion on their on their head while helping Muhammad to fight his fight. If truly Muhammad has the power and he believes in his doctrine, that is the true doctrine, he shouldn't, you know, or the Muslims rather shouldn't, you know, fight for their God. If it were to be Christians, Christians would leave it to God for 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 him to fight for them the insurgency and the killing of the christians and persecution of christians is just too much well and meanwhile uh, the terrorism in the north uh, north town part of the country is becoming alarming because he who killed by the sword also should be killed by the sword or die by the sword and under the constitution of nigeria he, uh, no one is permitted to kill his fellow human being anybody that kills under the constitution of Nigeria should also be killed. That's the judgment. Well, I mean, why army uh, also to free two senior Boko Haram bomb experts after rehabilitation? You see that these people are, you know, matching the tales of the Christians. And meanwhile, apart from being a Christians, they are, you know, 
claiming that they are above the law with the support of the federal government. Well, which our attention has been drawn to a publication by some online news media released in which the authors deliberately misrepresented the facts contained in that report and twisted it to suit whatever purpose they seek to achieve. While the Nigerian army does not want to be distracted from its main focus of dealing decisively with the threats against peace-loving Nigerians, it has become necessary to put issues in their right perspective. Yes, they need to put issues in their right perspective because uh, the African Union uh, is watching, the European Union is watching, ECOWAS is watching, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, even World Health Organization is watching, UNICEF is watching, the whole world is watching uh, what is rampaging in Nigeria and uh, they are also watching how people are being dehumanized and also, you know, Nigerian government and Buhari are violating human rights and also, you know, they have violated uh, their international, you know, relationship and rights of their, of its citizens. That's just what is going on in the country. Well, um, Boko Haram and their families have surrendered to the troops due to intense pressure from troops sustained offensive actions among those were key leaders of the terrorist group who have renounced their membership and have turned themselves in. Well, the Nigerian Army, being a professional military organization, uh, says they will continue to act in accordance with the dictates of the Nigerian constitution. No, they shouldn't act because very soon they will see Pepe, not fight or not war but they are going to be, you know, charged to court. Let Buhari finish his tenor. Let's see what will happen. You will see that ICC will charge Buhari and his cohort to court. And that is why the Buhari himself and his, his administration, his cohort that are supporting wickedness, will be charged to court from Buhari to Malami, from Malami to Pantami, who said he was unaware of uh, supporting uh, Boko Haram or Iswap or uh, Taliban said he was once a member of the Taliban that he would never support but the statement came out his recorded statement came out while he was advocating for bandits for Boko Haram and also the Taliban he now said uh, then he was young as at the age of 30 he was young that he never knew his left from his right that now that he has known uh, that uh, supporting terrorism is not good, that he has uh, changed his ways. And then he was not aware that he was young as at that time. Now he knows better. Can you see that excuse as, his excuse is not genuine and has no genuity. He, he has implicated much of himself. Well, I will leave you in the hands of the comment session. I would like you to pour out your grievances. Well, thank you for listening and God bless you.